are shady. All right, well, we finally got an event that uh, gave us enough snow. Looks like we're definitely gonna be going out. Let's go out here and take a look. Oh yeah. It's about three o'clock in the morning over here. And uh, still coming down pretty good. But uh, let's get these machines fired up and uh, get, get moving. <laughs> snow guys and it's definitely uh, pretty wet and it's every bit of uh, eight inches so we got the six plus like they were talking about right now getting everything warmed up Owen's got getting all the machines fired up got the John Deere going over here It's definitely gonna be time to uh, get going here. Of course, we're never ready for that first storm. So uh, we're scrambling to get everything going here. People are still asleep. Trying to wake everybody up. I'm gonna start clearing some, clearing a little path with this loader. Here's the first shot with the good old Lu Gong. And uh, a substantial amount of snow here. I'm gonna get this thing going and uh, do this driveway right here. See what see what she does. Plow Brothers, baby. Getting her going here, guys. First snow of the year. So I gotta, gotta get used to these machines here. Never really ran this Lugong before. It's a little bit different than the cat. So it's gonna be a learning process. The controls are slightly different. But it's just like riding a bike. Once you figure it out, no problema. Morning. Morning, how you doing? Ready? Ready, ready. I think we all We got the whole crew here. Everybody's getting ready to go. Let's go talk to Alex real quick. Morning guys. How we doing? You ready? Ready. Snow soldiers! <laughs> Finally! <laughs> So yeah, we got a we got a, definitely got a substantial amount here, and uh, it's gonna be a learning process on these routes today. So we're just gonna have to uh, everybody staying close communication and all that good stuff. Absolutely. And we'll just start. I'll jump in one. You guys jump. We actually need one more operator. We're uh, well. I mean, we got Brian, you, me. We still got one more machine empty. I, or I David. Who? David. Yeah, uh, 
if he could run what would you rather run down the blade or the or the loader or the blade the blade the skidster bucket or the loader i'll do a bucket a bucket the skidster bucket yeah okay so uh we got to get him addresses too just so we can uh you know what i never went down to uh that storage place down in the industrial park do you know what i did so which, which one, is it both sides of that building both sides of that building is it the in front of the motorcycle shop too correct so it's all three alleyways correct okay so that, i think that's, a, that's where brian probably needs to go first and start there and then come up get warming hut and then hit the post office do the loading docks uh you could probably go over and start with the bucket at the loading docks you can uh clean the clean the loading docks out and then uh by the time he gets done with all that he's working his way back up um and then we got that big apartment complex that's uh, on Manzanita, I believe. That's going to be a kind of a tricky one too. So we just need to this first this first pass through. We need to figure it out. But we're going to get ready. We're going to head out. So it's definitely going to be controlled chaos here for a minute until we get everything figured out and just get our get our little rhythm here. It just kind of happens like that every year. We think. We got it figured out, but uh, it's just gonna take a minute. Here's the hand guys, they're gonna go out. Owens kind of briefing Saul in that new uh, Lu Gong skiddy. He's never really ran that kind before. It's pretty much, like I said earlier, it's like riding a bike. Once you figure it out, it comes back to you. I'm gonna hop in this little blade right here, clear out this area so Dan can grab that bucket. And, uh, I'm just glad we're able to get you guys some snow content for 2024 finally. So let's get after it. So we're working our way down in town right now. We already got some stuff on the outskirts. Now we're coming in and uh, kind of surreal. It's been about a year since I've been in this loader and having a lot of fun this morning so far i know that i know it'll wear off quick it's probably not going to be fun for long but hopefully we can get some more days like this and uh it's going to be a decent season for us so right now i'm just working my way down here make our way to uh, over here off Laurel Mountain and then uh, over to the post office and uh, yeah things are going pretty good so far we always say that and uh, there's Brian he's running he's getting the warming hut done that's good Loaders out in full force. Starting to look like last year. I'm gonna have to get some camera mounts set up in these loaders so we can run um, some shots of us actually moving the material. It's kind of tough to do that while you're driving. I'll do the best I can for today. Try to get you guys some good footage for our first time out in 2024. Pulling in here to Chaparral. We'll just make a quick pass here so they can get their cars out. And then we come back and fine tune it after everybody's out.
just running down the middle of town right now. All over the damn road. That's right. That's how we do it. Up here, Mammoth. Got some snow for oh, sure this time. Yep, yep. Sadie, do a snow roll. Do a snow roll. She, she wants to. Snow roll, Sadie. Ado, do a snow roll. Look, they're having a good old time. We finally got some, guys. Finally got some. All right, so here's Owen. Running that Lugong machine. Yeah, you got the siren on. That's a good looking machine, I gotta say. Hey, that one I'm pretty sure has three parking spots. So you only did right. And another thing is first run of the season, we want to open everything all the way up to the perimeters and make that. You don't want to just barely. You want to make. That, that's the width of the driveway. If you look at their little. I can see. I, I'm table. pretty sure there's a whole other parking spot next to that, to the left. No, because if, if you look, there's a retaining wall there. That's where I, the edge of their driveway well, is. Well, I see. Up in the front, by the front door, there's a retaining wall. I would just cut there's, that. He's the one that called me and definitely said that he's got three spots and we've only been doing two. But. Well, if they move, I can make it three. I'm, I'm telling you, to the left of that car, you have a whole nother spot right there. Um, if you go look, there's a retaining wall right there. If I go any further to the left, I'll, I'll go look. But if I go another two, all right, go keep left. going. I want to, I want to see what this thing's doing. I will. Big difference. Big difference. All right, I gotta move. Finally got some snow on the ground here, guys. And uh, I already went out in the loader for a couple hours. Sun's starting to come up now. It's almost seven o'clock. Been out since about just a little after three o'clock this morning. Uh, surprisingly gone pretty good so far it wasn't a big dump it was only about eight inches so it was nice to start the season off with something like that that we could actually handle and uh, it didn't it didn't overwhelm us we've got Dan is a new operator he hasn't really operated with us before so I got him running a bucket on a skid steer and he's doing really good I went and saw some of the stuff he'd already cleaned up and it looks good and uh, he's gonna do just fine. The only way you ever get uh, any experience with this stuff is just get out there and do it, you know? And you're gonna be slow to start, but uh, eventually you get, you know, just the repetition of doing it, you get faster and faster and better and better and you get more efficient on where you put your snow. So that's the biggest trick to it is um, thinking about where you're gonna put your snow as you're going um, in order not to, not to do steps twice you know everybody thinks snow removal is just simple but there's really a lot to it you know there's there's a lot of thought that goes into how you move the snow and then beyond that all the equipment failures and constantly you know you have to really be 
gentle with the equipment and um, really be careful with what you're doing or you'll tear stuff up right away and you'll be you'll spend most of your time fixing stuff like the first year that we did this um, we broke stuff left and right and it was you know the only way to learn like I said is is the hard way you know you break stuff and you know hopefully you learned your lesson don't break it again but yeah we got loaders everywhere people are out things are happening it's a really fun morning I'm super pumped that we got some snow and I'm happy to share it with you guys so I got Dan running this little bucket here he's pretty green but he's learning and uh, he's doing good just slowly but surely these big parking lots are a great place to learn because there's nothing to hit uh, he's already kind of moved everything away from the building here which is good uh, the hand guys already came through here and did their did all the hand work so the walkways are decent he's just clearing around the posts and things like that and uh Brian's going to come back through with the big loader and, and grab all these windrows and push them over to the storage areas, which are there. we got storage down there and up here to the right, on the right side of the building here. But it's exciting, guys. we got some snow. And uh, back to the original, back to the Plow Brothers stuff. So hopefully uh, we're gonna get another nice uh, dump on Saturday, a couple days. Be looking forward to getting that. And uh, yeah, this looks good. They got the steps all cleared. I'm not sure why they left the uh, salt spreader and the shovel here, but uh, I'll move it out of the way here. <clears throat> yeah, everything's looking good. So last year we had a ton of, we had that up like 30 foot high and it was a huge ramp which if we get some decent snow it'll be the same thing this year but right now what we're going to do is we're going to keep this path open here so we can get from the front to the back fairly easily and um, Docks all cleared. Everything's looking good. Let's see if we can get some footage of Brian running this loader here. That one's got that side load bucket, which um, it actually will kick the snow off to the side, almost similar to what a blade does. Not quite, not quite as handy as a blade, but it's it's uh, it's pretty cool for snow. It works. It'll carry snow, and then it'll also uh, he can get stuff pretty clean with it. So. It's not bad. That loader seems to be doing pretty good. Can't wait to get that little 914 up here. Mike's working on the arm on it, and uh, that thing sounds good. We got some good equipment this year. I think we're gonna do just fine. back through uh forest trail real quick um i haven't even had the plows up here yet at all it's pretty deep so these guys are gonna 
clean everything up. Morning. Morning. Hey. How are you doing? Welcome to Mammoth. Right? <laughs> yeah. You guys ready for this? Oh yeah. We are. This ain't nothing. So wait, just wait. If we actually get a good February, <laughs> okay. it's usually. Right it. So you can see yesterday we got these beams down and uh, everything looking pretty good here. I'm not too concerned. It looks like uh, I got to get up there and shovel about six inches of snow, eight inches of snow off the top. Up here gets a little more snow than... Uh, and down by our house so guys are going to clean these posts off and everything we're just going to clean up the site start working on the uh on these posts get them all ready to go in and uh this thing should be ready to rock and roll get the beams up i'm going to send some uh some of our hand guys over here to help them clean this area up pretty good and then uh we'll be dialed in starting to finally look like winter up here guys this is exciting for me i've been waiting for this this is this is uh perfect just perfect it wasn't too heavy you know it was eight to ten inches gave us a good chance to get our feet wet with everything and uh just you know not have to uh just be deep in it for our first go around of the season so i'm really pumped about today it's been a great day so far and we're, we're we are a little short-handed mike's down south working on that loader and uh you know we're a little short-handed but um we're making it work got dan in that in that little skid steer he's he's training and you just gotta turn him loose and uh, give him good direction, explain everything. He's got common sense, so a lot of people don't have that. And uh, he's got common sense, so I, if you explain something carefully, then you just gotta let him go and uh, and let him figure it out on their own, you know? Because it's there's too much to try to explain on how to do this stuff efficiently. I wouldn't be standing there if I was that guy, but <laughs> come around that corner and uh, not a whole lot of traction right there, guys. It's real icy right here, so I don't want to slide out into the road. That's the thing too, you know, you get this first snow like this and there'll be accidents everywhere. These guys, they'll be wrecking all over the place because they don't know when to put on the brakes. You know, you gotta learn. I guess some people gotta learn the hard way just running into stuff. But yeah, this is beautiful footage for 2024, guys. Enjoy it. We're at the hut, and I got the guys working on the deck here. Get all this cleared, kicked out into the parking lot. And then uh, be ready to rock and roll here. Getting it done? Oh, yeah. Did you guys already hit Corbin's? Yes, sir. Yeah, he's all good. Got it all nice and clean. Got all his... Crash cans, pathways, exits. Cool. Finish now that, that apartment complex on Manzanita, that's the only one I'm kind of wondering about. Um, what we got to do over there. I'm going to go over there. What's the address to that? Do you remember? Um, it's the first complex. Got that white gold, baby. All about that white gold. All right, we're gonna go check this complex over here on Manzanita. Um, probably should have already been here by now, but we just um, haven't made it yet. And I just wanna see kind of what we're gonna need to tackle this thing. 
It's been a minute since I looked at this building. Here it is right here. It's those ones right there. So let's check it out, guys. So Alex is already here. He's kind of looking at stuff. Let's see what we got. 